old sway over the bitter chill of death. Let me guess, I can't use freezing cards. Set the end of What? Oh my god, you suck. Set the enemy hero's remain health to one. That is garbage. How do I fix that? How do I fix this? Oh, how naive I was. Mage? Pfft, this was going to be easy. Nothing could be farther from the truth. The sheer amount of misery just to win with Mage was unmanageable. I didn't think it could get any more ridiculous. Only one health to work with? One health? At first, I just concentrated on survival, to at least make it to turn 7. I knew the Lich King had no way to do one damage instantly until the second phase. After about an hour, I realized, yeah, Renal Jackson needs to be in this deck. After a few hours, I knew just one Renal Jackson wasn't going to be enough in order to survive. I needed to be able to duplicate him. Badly. I didn't have Duplicate crafted yet, so I needed to sacrifice some dust. Even Duplicate didn't feel like enough, so I tossed in an Echo of Medivh. But despite the increase in survivability, it still wasn't enough. It still felt like a wall was in front of me. Until I got the last piece for my deck. Kazakis. Since my deck was heavily diluted in order to get Reno Jackson's effect to work, I felt having Kazakis would increase my chances of victory. I couldn't rely on getting Doomsayer and Reno Jackson and being able to duplicate him by turn 7, so the option to craft potions to deal with the Lich King's board seemed necessary. It was a heavy price. I had nowhere near enough dust, so I opened some packs and disenchanted some cards in order to craft him. Once that was done, I knew I was close. Every attempt I made, I was hoping I could get the cards I needed, hoping for Reno Jackson and duplicating him by turn 6, Kazakis or Doomsayer by turn 7, all while trying to control the board, and just as all hope seemed to be lost, after 2 days and slaving 15 hours of pulling my hair out, raging at the screen and wanting to throw my mouse at the wall. It finally happened. Cadgar versus the Lich King! Knowledge is power. Your anguished I had myself muted at this point to my because I was doing this for hours and did not feel like talking. I was already tired. I was getting close to thinking I needed to consult a guide, but fortunately that wasn't necessary. So I start off with a pretty good hand, I didn't draw any cards that I couldn't play at a low curve. So then I played Unstable Ghoul, and he wastes his Obliterate, so that was good. It's good for me because he doesn't have a target for one of my bigger minions. Then I played Stonehill... What was it? Stonehill Defender. And was fortunate enough to grab a Primordial Drake. The dark. Grim Necromancer. So on turn 4, I obviously I pinged the 1-1 one, one, and then killed the other 1-1 one, one with, the, with my minion on the, uh, on the board. And then I used the spell to take out... Because I'm trying to get rid of everything, basically. Here he was fortunate enough to get another card. Oh wait, he did it in the wrong order, excuse me, I remember now. He did it in the wrong order, he could have gotten the card. He did this last time, in another video. So that was good, he messed up. And I had nothing else to do, so I just froze it. I told myself I'll just kill it later. And fortunately, I drew the Reno earlier. And I felt... I felt at first that I had to have Doomsayer 
in order to deal with his board on turn 7, but I think in this match it wasn't necessary. Yeah, so he wastes, he wastes an anti-magic shell, playing it on the turn before his minions will be removed from the board. Silly, silly. Oh, I remember now. I played Kazakus so that I could get a lower cost spell, and I was finally able to duplicate my Renal Jackson because I needed several Renal Jacksons in order to to win. I think I ended up getting four, and even that was still pretty close. It's pretty ed uh, it's pretty dicey. So I needed to get a five cost spell. And I wanted something that could do damage to, to his enti entire board. And I prioritized armor, though looking at it back now, I think maybe I should have tried to get a bigger hand, more cards so that I had more options, but it still worked out. So he attacks Reno, which I knew he I knew he was gonna attack that one because that had the highest attack. But if he had uh if I had duplicated Kazakis, I don't think that would have been terrible. Serve. Might have been okay. So right now I have two more Reno Jacksons to use. And Primordial Drake was also good because it taunts and then he'll just throw in the rest of his the rest of his minions and then I can kill the rest with the Kazaka spell that I just created the turn before so this was this was very fortunate so I was able to clear his board he and his other minions returned back to normal and, and I had just enough mana to play the charge uh, minion with the Divine Shield. And then he plays a bunch of stuff, but I just use Flame Strike. Yeah, everything worked out pretty well. I was very fortunate. I just said, screw it. Let me just use Flame Strike. Did I play the Snail? Yeah, I did. Stubborn Gastropod. I was thinking I didn't need to use charge yet. Some Some Two sludge belchers, very annoying. Oh, I forgot I have that card. That card is pretty good because I was able to get the spell. Got two mirror images. Yeah, I was getting really paranoid, so I just decided, eh, I, need be I better kill everything because of his stupid bone mare. I was kind of struggling with deciding if I should play Reno Jackson, but I felt that I, I had no choice. Now, this, at this point... I needed to flood the board in order to prevent him from killing the Doomsayer, and I needed to use the Doomsayer to clear his board. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't too concerned about losing everything, as long as he didn't play anything super crazy. And if he did kill the Doomsayer, then obviously I needed to attack one of his slimes. And there is the blizzard. He was still able to kill it with shatter. I remember that now. Yeah, that was kind of annoying. Arcane Nullifier is pretty good, but I just used Sunwalker. And the two, three taunts. Oh, uh, the Black Knight. Yeah, I was really angry. I used one of the, the, the emotes because I was telling myself, oh, he could probably use Dark Knight. That was my best card, too, but I ended up getting another taunt, which was very helpful. 
Echo Medivh, a very good draw because then I was able to duplicate Reno Jackson again and another taunt. I was just trying to figure out the math. Then I was able to fill up my hand again. Yeah, I was really fortunate there because I was running out of cards and there are no card draws. Anti-magic shell, not really useful. Now that I actually have a board and a ton of cards and he doesn't have a hand, I felt like, yep, this is it. I think I finally got him after so many attempts. Yeah, this was definitely a hard one. And I was glad to find out that other people had the, the same problem. But I read a few things that made it seem like this one was the most ridiculous challenge out of all the classes. Not much to speak about after this point. I pretty much just put everything I could play and get rid of his board, and then eventually I was able to get to his health. Yeah, I wanted to keep my taunts up in case he was able to use Blizzard or something. Yeah, also his uh, Remorseless Winter. Very annoying, so I had to play yet another Reno, but I waited until the last minute because... I need to make sure that I have. The, I, I need to make sure that I had the time in order to uh, deal enough damage to him. So I waited one more turn before I could play Reno Jackson, and it was a good thing he killed one of my minions because I didn't realize that I filled up my board. Yep, there's the second Obliterate, and he took some damage from that. Oh wait, I think I just started talking. Yeah, so I'll stop here. Oh my god, this guy is so annoying. I'm hoping that I'll be able to finish now. Okay, we have no choice but to play Reno Jackson because of the heal. We're taking 11 damage. We're gonna be rich. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we play this to hopefully discover Rest something stars. useful. Rish from Restore 3 health to your hero. Yeah, we'll choose this one we, since we have a spell. And we just go straight for the face. I sure hope I finish this because this guy is so annoying. Okay. Okay, good. My card is kind of dead. Oh, now you finally get drawn late. That's 19, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 17, 18. Oh my god, I am so done. Oh my god, you have no idea how much I was wanting to throw my keyboard out the window because this guy keeps killing everything and I just couldn't get the draws I needed in order to finish. My god, I am so glad that this garbage is over. Uh, I should have used fireball. Or fireballs, whatever. Finally! Freaking finally! I'm done! Yes! Oh my god. Yeah, just pull my hair out all night trying to finish it. I was like, oh, I'm gonna lose my mind. I thought for sure that there was just no way I could do this without um, the death knight of Jaina. I'm done. And I can finally take a break. I, uh, I can't take much of a break because I gotta go to work tonight. But I'm done! I don't want to do this anymore stress and what's what's kind of messed up is that I know that there are people out there who finishes a lot quicker than I did but I'm just I'm just glad that it's over it's done 
don't have to worry about this anymore. Anyway. <sighs> Man. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like, I love Hearthstone, but my God, I almost, I was about to flip. Seriously about to flip a table. Okay, this is a nice picture of her. I actually like her in this form than her regular form, if that sounds weird. She looks pretty cool. The newly crowned Frost Lich surveyed her domain. Legions of undead added their power to her own. She didn't even notice her blood freezing. <sighs> now for my prize. Perhaps Prince Arthas will find redemption in your deck.